Now you might be thinking, Stormy, haven't you already ridden the Lincoln service? Twice? Well, yes, but I've never ridden it all the way to St. Louis. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be riding almost the entire Lincoln service all the way down to St. Louis. Um, I'm getting on it at Joliet, so I'm missing the Chicago Joliet part, but I've ridden that <laughs> multiple times uh, before. I've also did a bit up to business class, so we'll see if that happens. Um, I've never ridden business class, so if that gets accepted, that'll be another first. All right, here's Joliet Gateway Center Station place. Um, I actually quite like this station. It's not like huge, but it's nice inside. Uh, it's got seating. You know, it, it, it's it's good at what it needs to do. Look at this big old waiting area. This is honestly really nice. A lot of seating, you got outlets. Isn't that just delicious? I don't think I'm gonna head back inside before that blows over here. Are you kidding me? My 812 Lincoln service is now at 813. This is unacceptable. Amtrak, I, did, I demand complete refund. This is awful service. What would be nice is direct access to the Amtrak platform from here. Because right now you have to go down these stairs and then go up some more stairs so it'd be nice if there was like a way to get over there uh, without having to do that but you'd have to cross the track and that wouldn't be like the safest so just a minor gripe I still love the station all right time for a stormy nitpick why does it have the dash on these stations it skips but not here what's the deal put the dash excuse me but do you have any information I'm going insane. The train needs to come soon. Here it comes. It's actually pretty early. Uh, I'm trying to take back what I said about the refund and everything. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, where are my venture coaches? No, Amtrak? No, I, I take back the take back. I need a refund. Where are my venture coaches? Okay, real quick, Amfleet seat review. Um, they're good. They're, they're, they're all right. Um, not as much leg room as super liners, but I mean, still enough leg room for me. Um, they're comfortable enough. Tray table is a little bit small, but um, they are showing their age, but you know, I think it's still, still functional. I would have liked to venture though, but <laughs> what can you do? So the Lincoln service takes about five hours um, to go from Chicago to St. Louis, which is about an hour longer than driving. Um, I feel like there's a, a, an amount of time where the train can take longer than driving, but since you, know, you don't have to drive, you don't have to stress about it, um, you can work, you can relax, you can sleep, uh, you can get food, you know, all the amenities and perks of train travel kind of offset the extra time. Personally, um, I'm fine with an extra hour if that means I don't have to drive and I can sit and, you know, I can work on stuff. Um, I think it's different for everybody, but, you know, I'm fine with it. Hey, car. 
car. I got myself a fresh fruit cup. I uh, didn't really need anything, but like, you know, food on a train. It's pretty cool. Uh, this was honestly kind of expensive. Five dollars uh, plus one dollar tip, so six dollars total. Um, and I mean, yeah, there's there's not much here. I really don't think this is worth five dollars. I will be keeping the napkins though, getting my money worth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again arriving at a Bloomington Normal Station stop. If Bloomington Normal is your station stop, please take this time check around your seated area. It's honestly a, a really nice station. I, I really like it. And here's 302. See, they get the venture coaches. So just realize that I'm traveling from the Joliet Gateway Center to St. Louis Gateway Station. Um, driving me crazy. <laughs> to get into St. Louis pretty much on time, so. While I pass this stunning scenery, here are a few quick facts about the Lincoln service. It carried an average of 565,866 passengers between fiscal year 2010 and 2022, carrying an average of 591,794 pre-pandemic. The Lincoln service had an endpoint on-time performance of 80.2 in fiscal year 2021. The route is 284 miles long, or about 236,710 Lincolns. Now here's Carlinville, which I totally almost didn't forget to film. My foaming has become an, an inhibition to my filming. The locomotive in question. You can forgive me for that, right? I will see you for my return trip, hopefully in business class. Five hours later. I got 
a Blahage, and I got upgraded to business class. All right, first impressions. Um, honestly, the seat is less comfortable to me than on like the regular coach seat. Like, like it's not bad, but it doesn't have the same cush and cushion as the other one. I feel there is definitely more leg room on, um, and this is a single seat, so like it's all to myself. And probably one of the best things. It's right next to the cafe car. Another thing to note: um, if you saw on the two sides, you get the you get like little cup holders, um, and then you also get curtains. Which there wasn't curtains on my uh, coach seat coming here. Now, once again, two trash cans and two rentals are located in your city. dinner time i got the white castle cheeseburgers um i already had their like angus beef like big burger and these were cheaper so you know new horizons um i also got coke complimentary because business class and doritos so very very healthy i have to say i'm not i'm not very uh, impressed by the presentation I have to say, I'm very impressed by the Snickers. Like, they were bad, but they were good. Oh, well, what do you expect? <laughs> it's food on a train, so it's automatically you know, the best. Three hours later. Yeah, it's cold. I don't know if you can hear. There's a Metro train, Rock Island train sitting up there. I'm tired. But first, let me give you my thoughts on business class. Um... So I think business class kind of varies, uh, you know, depending what car you get. Like if you get like a Amfleet Cafe, like I did, if you get like, I think like a soup, whatever the Superliner business class is, and then, you know, like the Venture coaches eventually, you know, that those are gonna be different. But overall, the seat was fine. Uh, I felt like it was, a, it was less comfortable than the regular coach seat, but you know, it wasn't bad. Um, I liked having the single seat, uh, so nobody could sit next to me, um, not even a chance, um, so that was really nice. Uh, you know, you got your own outlets and everything. Uh, more leg room um, than, the, uh, than the regular coach seats on an Amfleet, uh, which was nice. Right next to the cafe car, uh, which was really nice, you could just pop in, grab something, uh, and you get complimentary drinks. Uh, well, you get one complimentary drink, um, which was al also really nice, uh, especially because and trick prices are early, they're a little pricey um so i'll definitely take i'll definitely take a free drink so overall i don't know if it's worth the price um that they charge for it uh i kind of i saved about half of what it would have been to just buy the ticket outright by doing the bid up um so i mean if you got like 15 bucks that you don't mind tossing to the bid up i'd say you know go ahead and try it um but Overall, I wouldn't say business class would be something you should you should purchase outright. I need to drive home still. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.